2015, the Victorian wine industry contributed an estimated $7.6 billion to the Victorian economy. The industry generates an estimated 13,000 direct jobs, including tourism, and creates a total flow-on effect in the vicinity of 33,000 jobs. The majority of these are located in regional areas. A prominent issue and industry priority is ongoing management of the biosecurity challenge posed by phylloxera, which is the number one threat to grapevines in Australia. The Victorian Government acknowledges the impact and potential risks to industry posed by the spread of phylloxera, particularly into new grape growing areas. Implementing enhanced on-farm biosecurity measures to contain and prevent the further spread of phylloxera is now critical. The Tackling Phylloxera program will deliver outcomes beyond just managing phylloxera. It goes to the, the heart of the biosecurity management and that's on-farm biosecurity management. One million dollars will be spent over three years through six individual projects to reduce phylloxera spread in Victoria and improve market access through enhanced on-farm biosecurity measures that will contain and prevent further spread of phylloxera to other regions. One of these projects include vineyard inspections in the Mornington Peninsula to have the region recognised as a phylloxera exclusion zone by industry and trading partners. The Mornington Peninsula has been or is currently zoned as a, a PRZ, a risk zone. Um, we're hoping to uh, have a, be rezoned as a PEZ, the exclusion zone. So to that end, starting a survey of all the vineyards on the peninsula to determine if we are free of the phylloxera louse and we're very optimistic that we will be found to be free of phylloxera. And then we can really concentrate on our own protocols at the farm gate and improving those so that we remain phylloxera free. As we've gone through the process of, of understanding the exact number of vineyards on the peninsula and contacting every grower and member of the association, We've had nothing but positive feedback about uh, the, the reception to rezoning. And I think that's really just because it's a quality region that's focused on quality. And, and, and this is a real a benchmarking in the region that is very important. And we've made that very clear in the association. And, and it's great that all the growers have taken that on board. So we see the, the response from growers is very positive, not just generally, but on the whole. It's very important for our region to have the collaboration with Agriculture Victoria because we're a small region and we've got a very active Vignerons Association but not a huge amount of, of funding to uh, expand on some of the projects that we do. So for Agriculture, to, Agriculture Victoria to support us with funding a project like this it is the only way it can really happen. So the rezoning process in itself, the additionally for each grower, uh, the increased understanding of phylloxera empowers them within their own vineyard to treat their vineyard as a zone within the exclusion zone uh, where from their own farm gate they can protect themselves against phylloxera. The process of communication, the process of understanding about phylloxera that this rezoning will bring will give much power to each grower to look after their place in a much more biosecure way.